In this tutorial, I'll briefly explain how to fit nonlinear data by using the NLS function in R. And this tutorial covers uh, the concept of NLS, preparing the data, NLS fitting, and uh, NLS fitting with multiple functions. Let's get started. Nonlinear squares fitting is a statistical method used to fit nonlinear models to data by minimizing the sum of square differences between observed and predicted values. It adjusts model parameters uh, iteratively to find the best fit. Unlike linear regression, analysts can handle complex relationship between the variables. The method starts with initial parameter estimates and uses iterative optimization algorithms like Gauss and Newton to converge as the best fit parameters. Analysis fitting is commonly used in fields such as statistics engineering, where relationships between variables are nonlinear, and it's very helpful uh, for estimating parameters in uh, models that cannot be easily linearized. We'll start uh, by generating a simple test data for this tutorial. First, we define a polynomial function, then we'll generate sequence data for x, all the function fx at each point in x, and add uh, random numbers uh, from a uniform distribution, minus 1 to 1, and finally uh, create a data frame with columns x and y containing the generated data. Here is uh, the content of the df data frame. Analysis function in R performs nonlinear least squares regression to fit a model data. It starts the optimization process with initial estimates for the parameters and applies uh, an iterative optimization algorithms to minimize the sum of squared residuals between the observed data and the predicted data. The optimization algorithm maintains iterating until certain convergence uh, criteria are met. Here is uh, how to use uh, analysis function. We provide a quadratic model here. This is a quadratic model function and the DF data and the starting points for A, B, and C parameters. Here we can start from zero for all of uh, parameters. The fitted model details looks as, uh, as shown here. Here is uh, the, the model function and the parameters of A, B, C, the uh, residual sum of squares. To predict the data, we use a predict function to generate predicted values based on the fitted model and the, in, uh, the input x. Finally, we create a plot with original data points using the gray dots and the fitted curve on the same plot uh, as a solid line. Here is the result. In this part of this tutorial, we perform analysis fitting uh, with three different uh, models and the plot, uh, the original data along with our fitted curves. Here we use the quadratic, cubic, and exponential models as a fitting functions. We use NLS function to fit uh, each model, specifying the formula, the input data, uh, and the initial parameters values. The predicted y data can be taken using the predict method for each trained model. Finally, we create a plot, visualize original data, and fitted curves. Here is the uh, models. Uh, the first one is quadratic, and the cubic, and exponential. And the difference is here, so we provide different uh, fitting functions. Then we plot data and uh, fit uh, data and fitted curves. This one is original data, and this is uh, the predicted data uh, with a quadratic model and cubic and exponential. Finally, we add some legends and the grid. Here is the result. The plot shows uh, that there, there are sl slight differences uh, in each uh, fitting model. That means you can change or uh, add other functions to achieve better results based on the characteristics of your input data. That's it for this tutorial. In this tutorial, we briefly learned how to implement core fitting with analysis method in R. I'll put the link to source code. Uh, you can visit my website and uh, get the all source codes uh, here.